Hi, this is Harris with WTI, and I'm here to provide you some tips and tricks about choosing a power or console solution. We're going to go over some frequently asked questions right now, and we're going to do it in video form over a text or frequently asked question section. Uh, how a remote reboot works is you log in via IP or any kind of command line interface, and you log into the unit, and it allows you to power cycle the device. So you can power cycle whatever is hooked up to the outlet actually on uh, the power supply, and so this will help you if you're, you have to install firmware on a Cisco device and have to reboot it. If the device stops responding, you can also reboot it that way and have it come back up. And all of this, what it's doing is it's helping you manage your uptime so that you don't have to drive out to that location or you don't have to call someone. You can do it yourself and manage the whole network on your own. And that's maximizing what you, how many people you need to manage a larger network. I hope these tips and tricks that we've gone over has helped you. Again, every application and every solution is different, so you're going to want to look at what you're trying to accomplish to get the proper unit. If you want more information about what we went over, you can go to WTI.com, and the link is below me on this video. Also, thank you again for watching, and I hope you guys have walked away from something, and at least picking a power or console solution will, will be a lot easier now that you know the information that you do.